Hello everyone. We're in Galax and we're going back to Manila. This is going to be a short video. Marami tayong magiging commentary along the way. Okay, and makikita rin natin yung mga dadaanan natin. As of now, wala pa ako talaga officially sa Galax. Nasa ramp pa lang tayo. Although wala naman ng tayo ibang pupuntahan, di ba? Pero Wala pa tayo sa toll booth, yun yung ibig sabihin. Makikita natin yung toll booth uh, anytime soon. It's actually up and coming. Itong toll booth na to is yung Santa Rosa toll booth. Ito yung completed section ng Calax. Kasi remember, ang Calax will go all the way to General Trias. Uh, pero as, as of now, ito pa lang yung uh, first phase ng completed section. And pag nagawa tong buong part na to, sigurado this will be a very, very nice drive. And as you can see, this is also a well-lighted one. Right? Normally, yung mga lights, makikita nyo mamaya, uh, sa section lang yun. So, section yun ng mga exit, section yun ng mga um, uh, yung may intersection. Ayan, punahin natin ng konti yung drive sa harapan natin. So, nakita ninyo, yung, yung vehicle in front of us took a portion of my lane. Kasi, I think he or she believes that he needs to do that because there are some barriers on the road. One of the skills that we really need to master when, when we're driving, especially when we're driving sa highway to keep everyone safe, is sticking within our lanes. And we need to stick within those two lines na nakikita nyo in front of you. Diba? So, just put the vehicle in the middle. Kung medyo alanganin pa kayo kasi hindi ninyo alam kung nasa middle ba kayo, I'll give you one tip. And one tip is to use the lane closest to you as a driver. The, the line, rather. The line closest to you as a driver and that's the in this case the left lines because we're left uh a left side right so we drive uh the 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 wheels are on the left side of the vehicle because we drive on the right side of the road okay so begin you lang ng siguro ng mga uh several inches between you and your line kasi makikita niyo yun so, wag, so, ang ibig sabihin, pag nagdadrive kayo, wag kayo magdadrive directly on the line. I mean your body. Okay? So, the, if you do that, you're going to make sure that the vehicle will also not be within the line. Kasi, yung katawan mo is not on the line itself. Right? So, if you, if you do that, if you make sure that you're, you have clearance on the lines to your left, you don't need to worry about the lines to your right because these two lines na nakikita ninyo ngayon, sakto lang yung sasakyan nyo dyan. Diba? So, kung meron kayong clearance, kung enough yung clearance ninyo sa left side, you pretty much don't need to worry about the, the clearance that you have on the right lines. So, practice nyo lang yun. Okay, so ngayon, kung may nakikita kayong mga objects sa road, like siguro yung early warning devices or maybe debris, look at the objects in relation to the lines itself. If it's with if it's outside between these two lines, it's not in your inner path. You're good. You don't need to go around it. Katulad nung ginawa nung sasakyan that we passed a while ago, right? So, ito, makikita ninyo, uh, most likely, merong mga early warning devices dito because there are exits. Yeah, so, nakikita niyo yung early warning devices na yan. Hindi ko siya kinakailang iwasan kasi alam ko outside siya of my lines, eh, if you get what I mean, okay? Another tip is, kung nakikita niyo, nasa well-lighted section of the road, ulit tayo. Pero, kung napansin niyo may part of the highway where it was a bit dark it's it's a normal thing in highways uh they they usually just light up sections where there are exits or where where there will be intersections okay kasi 
uh, kung hundreds of kilometers to na hopefully expect natin sa Pilipinas I- imposible naman na ano tigil muna ako walang architect Nag-comment kayo? Dahil trader ako! What is up my dude? Sa mga hindi nakakilala sa akin, ako nga pala si Lian Austria, isa akong architect na ka-based dito sa Philippines. So tingin yung araw ay may tatalakayin tayong napaka-controversial na issue sa balat ng arkitektura sa Pilipinas, which is ang bahay ni Loisa Andalio. So according to my research and by that, I mean, tinanong ko ang mother ko kasi yeah. mas updated siya sa siya show business featured, kesa sa akin. Siya uh, nga pala yung YouTube to... channel ng natin ngayong araw na to. Si, uh, si architect Oliver Austria. I'm not related to his channel at all, but I find uh, his, you know, episodes uh, very informative and very entertaining. So, kung naghanap kayo ng mga channels na gusto nyo panoorin, pwede nyo bisitahin yung channel niya. Siya featured uh, channel natin ngayon. So, balik tayo dito sa pinag-usapan natin yung lights. So, normal na may, siguro kung Maha- malayo yung distances between the intersection it's normal th- that you will have some dark spots within the highways ang ibig sabihin lang nun uh, yung, yung headlights niyo will be enough kasi wala namang papasukan ng iba eh. so wala namang magiging animals diba? wala namang sigurong sasakyan na basta-basta nilang lalabas kasi yung part ng highway niyon walang entrance or walang exit we will end by the Mumplazan Circle, yung rotonda don. For now, I think, let's go all the way to Brentville, yung subdivision, where the Brent International School is. And dito na lang din tayo, so samantalahin na natin. So ito yung Mumplazan Rotonda. Sa ibang bansa, guys, sa rotonda, yung my right of way is yung mga nasa rotonda na. So, kung ikaw papasok ka sa rotonda, you have to yield sa mga sasakyan na nasa rotonda na. Sa manuals natin sa Pilipinas, I was looking at the rules and regulation. It's still uh, using the first on the road and the right vehicle having the right of way. Right, so always remember that if you're on the left side of a vehicle and you're merging on the same exact spot, the vehicle to your right has the right of way. So, ito yung bridge ng SLEX. Kung babalik ka sa Manila, mag-exit ka na dyan. So, there will be a roundabout. Pero for today, we're going to proceed to uh, Brentville. So, we're going to drive forward. Okay. Or we're going to drive uh, straight ahead. Makikita nyo na yan. Makikita nyo yung mga ilaw-ilaw dyan. Kasi andito na lang din tayo. Di? Pasyal na lang tayong konti. Mga 2 minutes more. So itong Brentville. Uh, ano to? Ang mga titles ng mga property dito is CCT. May part sila na CCT. CCT stands for Condominium. Certificate title. Remember, there are two types of titles. TCT and CCT, right? So, transfer certificate title, which is majority of us Pinoy's no. And CCT, ito yung mga pagbumibili ka ng condo. Okay? Anong pinakaiba nila? Sa, sa TCT, ikaw may ari ng property. F- starting from the lot all the way up. Whatever you put up in there. Sa CCT... Ikaw may ari ng air rights. Yung part ng air, ikaw nagmamay-ari. Pero yung lot itself, it's not owned by you. There's no title for the lot. It, it will still be owned by the previous owner. But the previous owner cannot take up your space, your vertical space, your air space, kumbaga. They normally use ang CCT for uh, foreign ownership because re, uh, a foreigner cannot own a property in the Philippines as uh, if it's not in a CCT form. So since itong community na to are is a school for foreigners, it makes sense for them to sell condominium certificate titles on 
townhouses. Okay, so binibenta na yun sa townhouses. Okay, everyone, this is where we end our episode for today. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll be uploading more episodes soon, and I hope to see you in our next episode. Thank you very much for your time today. Have a safe uh, day, and have a good uh, week ahead.